Hello, my name is Steve Bowler and in this video we're going to be taking a look at securing your VTY lines on your router using a standard access control list. So this is ACL Lab 2. We're going to be filtering subnets via the standard ACLs implemented on the VTY lines, our virtual terminal lines, on your routers. So what I have here is a PuTTY connection manager as I got this request from one of my subscribers to use PuTTY. So what I'm going to be doing is using it. It is a great program to use for free. Uh, you can download it. Just look it up on Google. So uh, my answer to him was really I don't have a reason why I don't use it. So I'm using it in this and so what I set up is PuTTY Connection Manager and it really helps a lot. So it just allows you to be able to access a lot of different uh, routers within the same screen. So you can Google that and take a look at that and you can get it set up. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes if you know what you're doing and uh, again very easy to do. But in this video we're going to be configuring access control lists to control our VTY lines. So what I'm going to do here, as you can see here, is I have two loopbacks on router 0, the 10 and the 20 loopbacks, loopback 0 and loopback 1. Then we have a connection in between them which is 172.16.1.0 slash 30 and then I have loopback 0 on router 1 which is 192.168.1.0. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is go to router zero and I'm going to get into global configuration mode, give it the host name of R0. And by the way, I'm just going to set the no exact timeout under the the uh, line console zero. So again, that can mess up your CPU utilization inside GNS3. Don't really have to worry about that with real routers, just inside GNS3. Uh, let's go to our interface faster than 00. We'll give it to IP address of 172.16.1.1 with the slash 30 subnet mask. We'll go to loopback 0. Give it the IP address of 192.168.10.1 with a slash 24 subnet mask. We will also create a loopback 1 interface with the IP address of 192.168.20.1 